And then client side, how do you set the expectation with clients that, hey, you know, you're going to be working with so-and-so now, um, and they're used to working with you, Mike, and, and the, yeah. how do you set that up? Man, well, there, first off, there's no good way to do that, right? Like, you can be, like, you can be smooth about it, but at the end of the day, it's not you. Right. So, like, one thing that sucks and you have to prepare yourself for is you could bring in the, the like, a most amazing coach of all time, right? Like literally they're 10 times better than you are technically, but it doesn't matter because if it's not you, they're not going to be happy. Right. Okay. There's always a small fraction of that. So you have to be okay with that. Um, but with that being said, you just have to let them know, like, look, um, the business is growing. Like things are going really well for us. We're going to expand, um, to do that, to be a, a more successful business. Like I'm going to have to step off the floor some, so, you know, this person is going to be coaching you more. I'm going to do everything that I can to smooth the transition. You know, like you just kind of have to let them know, like, look, this is going to happen. This is something that's important to our business. We want to be successful. We want to grow. We want to take amazing care of you. Um, but I think one thing that, that is important, especially as a small business, you can't do this when you're a big box gym, but as a small business, is to just let people know, like, look, just because I'm not going to be coaching you every day, doesn't mean I don't care about you. Doesn't mean I don't value our relationship. Like if you need something, if you feel like things aren't up to snuff or you're not getting, you know, the TLC that you need, let me know, man. Like I care about you. You've been here with me since the start. Like I want you to have amazing results, but this is also something that I'm going to have to do going forward. If we're going to continue to grow and evolve our business. Right. I think, um, if I could just interject something. Yeah. I think you kind of get the client used to them by having somebody else coach an exercise, make them excuse to have hey, look, I'm going to have this guy coach you or, or, you know, Mike, will you come over and coach this guy on this exercise? Yep. And they kind of get used to that a little bit. And so I know in, like in my situation, they'll ask me, can you watch this deadlift or something? And you know, I've been around enough that people, you know, are okay with that. Yeah. You know, I may not be their everyday coach or something, but they're okay listening to me. Yeah. You know, on something because, because you've kind of, kind of, I don't know how to say this right. Help me out here, Mike. Um, well, well, here's, you, you here's kind of them license. You're, yeah. you're giving that coach a license to, <laughs> to coach and, and, you know, I know when I was coaching weightlifters, I always liked somebody else to coach them as often as I could. Just, yeah. I just wanted to hear a different voice. Yeah. And, and, you know, that's good because you may be telling somebody something for months and they're not getting it. And I come over and say it in a little bit different way. And all of a sudden they, it pops in their head and they go, Oh my gosh. And the guy comes yeah. over to you and says, Oh, I get how to do this deadlift now. And, you know, Rufus yeah. told me to do this. And, you know, it's the same thing you've been telling them, but <laughs> because a different voice said it, you know, you get, they, they, they get it, right? Yeah. So don't make your ego so big that somebody else can't step in and coach for you. And especially if you're in a situation like Mike where you can go in and dominate the room, you know, just by your presence and everybody looks to you. And, um, you know, you got, you got to give them that little bit of a license and you, and you kind of, and you kind of, kind of ease them in the client into having different people do that once in a while. It's not an everyday thing. Yeah. And, yeah and, I think, I think you're used to it. I think the smoother you can make the transition, the better. Right. So if it's like one day you're their coach and the next day somebody else is coaching them. It's abrupt, right? Like you wouldn't like that either. Right. So it's like, for example, I think I can say this safely, like Jay is going to leave. Like Jay's wife got a job in another city, so we know Jay is not going to be here. Um, so like the guy that is going to take over for him, he's an intern for us before, but he's been gone for like two or three years. So, well, two years. So we're going to try and bring him back early, right? And get him on the floor and get people re-exposed to him because, man, I hate to say it, Jay's amazing. Like we're probably going to lose people because Dave is an amazing coach. He's an amazing human, but he's not Jay. Yeah. Like, 
That's what it comes down to. Like people, this is a people business and it's about relationships. So um, the smoother you can make that transition and the more you can kind of let people know, like this isn't, it comes back to our talk about coaches. It's not personal, right? Like this is just something that is the best thing for our business. I still love you. I still want to take amazing care of you. I think this person is going to take amazing care of you. So, I mean, if you can do that, you hedge your bets as best you can, man. Just be prepared. Some people, just because it's not their coach, yeah. they're not going to like it. But for the most part, people are pretty, pretty cool with it. And I think, you know, if it is the right person and they're a good cultural fit, you'll have less issues than you think. Right, right. Yeah, cool. Can't so coach I mean, if someone does have an issue, like, because it's, it's not you, how do you handle that? Man, the first thing I'll try and do is redirect them to like a different time of day. That's right. not always like, okay, hey, you know, like, understand. Um, maybe they just don't jive with that particular coach for whatever reason. I'll try and redirect them. But again, like, it's kind of no, like, sometimes you might lose people. Yeah. You know, it, there's nothing you can do unless you're going to say, yeah. I'm going to make an exception for this person for whatever reason. You know, like, it, it just happens, right? Like when Ty left, we lost some people. You know, when Zach Moore left years ago, we lost some people. Like it's always going to happen. Um, you just try and mitigate it as best you can. And Ruth makes a great point. Like sometimes just moving pieces around and having somebody work somebody else's shift, you kind of let them know like, hey, look, like all the people that work here are great people. Yeah. You know, they're all great coaches. Different personalities, yes. Some people like to coach certain things more than others and vice versa. But it's like everybody here wants you to be successful. So if you can expose them to different people on your staff, you know, they just kind of know like, look, this is the right thing. And some people, if it's just, hey, look, that's my coach. If it's, if it's not him, then it's nobody. Like it sucks, but it may happen, you know. The, the earlier in the, in, the, uh, in the client's tenure that you start doing that, the easier it is. Yes. Yeah. Also. Yeah. So as you do that from day one, a little bit, then then it's going to be a lot easier to do it later on. Yeah. Right. You know, and you continue doing it a little bit, and and that's not to say you don't, you know, if you do it all the time, you just kind of get them used to it. And yeah. Hearing somebody else or. Yeah, you know, you're gonna get every couple of weeks, couple of months. Yeah. Just letting them see a different face, hear a different voice. And just understanding that there's more to your gym than one person, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cultural. It's a culture of coaching and of a community. And if you can do that, then I think you'll be okay. Yeah. 